Hello, and welcome to another episode of The U. My name's Mark Burton, and I'm an instructor here at Cisco. Cisco's Secure Firewall Threat Defense Firewall is a very popular firewall. It was originally designed to be managed by a centralized manager called the Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center. This management center has the capability of managing multiple devices, and it's a very popular way of managing uh, multiple firewalls. Uh, much later, an onboard manager called the Cisco Secure Firewall Device Manager was created, which allowed the management of the local firewall on the same device. Following the development of the Firewall Device Manager, a cloud-based management solution, which was initially called the Cisco Defense Orchestrator, but is now known as the Security Cloud Control, was designed to manage multiple diverse types of device, which includes firepower threat defense. Now inside the Security Cloud Control, there was a fairly recent development, which is called the, um, called the Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center, which has the possibility of managing onboarded devices with the cloud. And that really is the subject of this demonstration. So in this demonstration, uh, we're going to take a look at the following things. We're going to take a look at the initial, the initial configuration of the Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center. Following that, uh, we're going to then show you how you would go about onboarding your Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense Firewall with the Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center. Once the onboarding is uh, achieved, then we'll look at some of the typical device configurations uh, you can make. We'll verify those changes have been made on the firewall, and we'll take a look at some other features like analyzing defense. One word of caution, the Cisco Secure, um, the Cisco Secure Cloud, it's um, you know, quite, quite a comprehensive solution. It's subject to change. There are far more features there than I have the ability to demonstrate in a short video like this. So it is specifically looking at the onboarding process of the firewall management center of the Firepower Threat Defense with the Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center. It's not a full investigation of that, but hopefully to give you the concept so that if you already have experience of using the Firewall Management Center or onboard Firepower Device Manager, it will hopefully give you some insight into how you could do that within the Cloud Managed Solution. So let's go and take a look. So uh, I'm going to begin by logging into Security Cloud Control uh, with my um, with my uh, tenant, and uh, one of the things I wanted to show you here is that if this is something you've never been seen before, you can actually take a look at the documentation of this, and in the documentation, it, it kind of tells you <laughs> everything you would possibly need to know. In the Get Started section. Um, uh, this actually show you, shows you how you can request a tenant. This is a uh, procedure for, for doing so. And also that um, also how you would sign in to this. Now there are different uh, cloud requirements and you can see that Uh, I think it's this one here. So you'll notice that there are different URLs for, for logging in. You can probably see for my demonstration, I'm based in the in the EU. Uh, you can probably tell by my accent. And you can see the URL is specifically there. So depending on where you're in the region, the URL you enter could be different. So. How do we set up the Cloud Delivered Firewall Management Center? Well, I've already done that. And the way that you do it is that in the dashboard and the administration section, there's a section called the Firewall Management Center. Now, I've already enabled mine, but 
on your tenant, you'd have an option to do this. And then once you've set it up, you've got the possibility of uh, configuring license. And just like the uh, other types of managers, there's either an evaluation period, which I'm personally using, uh, or there's um, um, a, a cloud that you can, uh, there's a, a, a smart license that you can set up just like other Cisco products. Once you have uh, onboarded your cloud delivered management center, then like other management centers, you can configure policies. Uh, and I certainly encourage you to do that. You will need certain policies to onboard your device. One of the policies you need is an access policy. You can create new ones. Uh, I've actually created one here called my access policy and edit it. And then in this policy, you can see there's some rules. You can add new rules. If I was to add a rule, you can see it's the, you know, the, the same sort of uh, conditions you would be familiar with if you've already managed um, uh, a, a, a fire, one of the Cisco firewalls before. So that's the access control policy. Um, other popular policies include the one for intrusion, which I've done here. Um, other policies include the network discovery, uh, the pre-filter policy, which I've also configured. Uh, you've got the, the object management uh, integration and so on. So, so quite a few things. Um, but if you just go back to your management center, cloud delivered management center, that is, which is in the administration section. And once you select, you can see all the different things you can do. I, I looked at policies and objects. Um, and after this onboarding, I'll be able to see devices as well. Now, if I go and take a look at security devices, you'll notice there are no devices at the moment. So to onboard a device, um, you click on this plus symbol. And if you move the mouse over, you can see that says onboard device. Cisco Secu uh, Security Cloud Control um, isn't exclusive for the Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense. You can onboard other devices as well, but this is a subject of my demo. So if I select FTD, um, there are, depending on the platform, different ways of onboarding. Uh, the one which is most common is this CLI registration key. So I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this FTD. Um, it's actually 74.2. And then it's asking for the access policy. So fortunately, I created that. If not, there's a default one. So I'll select mine. It's now asking me for the subscription license. Is it a physical or virtual device? Mine is a virtual device. There's a number of different performance tiers. Okay, I'll select this one. Select the licenses. So I'm going to select one for IPS, malware, and URL. Now, the, the, the next one, which is the important one, is this CLI registration keys. What I've got to do here is to copy that. And a little tick shows that that's copied. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to log into my managed device. So this is actually my managed device. If I type in show managers, it doesn't actually have a manager. But even if it did, did have the onboard manager, the firewall device manager, that would be unregistered as part of the onboarding process. Anyway, so I'm going to put in that uh, registration key. Come back to that in a moment. And then next here, add a lab label. And this is um, just add a label. Um, spell correctly. And that's my onboarding demo. Now it goes to the security devices and waits for that onboarding. Now if I go back to my managed device, you probably see there configure manager add. And if you're familiar with onboarding the device with the firewall management center, you'll see it looks very that that command looks very similar indeed. Anyway, so I enter this. I, I didn't have the 
device manager enabled. Okay, so if I did, it would have unregistered that, removed it. Um, and now if I type in that show managers command, you can, uh, you can see that it's currently in progress. So I can see that this process is currently in boarding. Um, once the device is in onboarded, I'll be able to manage it using the cloud delivered firewall management center. And I can go back to administration to my firewall manager. Okay, now I can select the manager. And this time under the firewall management, <laughs> management section, I'm gonna select the devices, but you can see here that now I'm looking at the cloud delivered firewall management center. You can see this device being onboarded. Now it does take a little while. Fortunately, it doesn't take too long, at least in my experience. And uh, those of you familiar with the, uh, you know, any firewall management center will probably recognize this process. Okay, so just wait for that to complete. While we're waiting for that to complete, uh, it shouldn't take too long. If I just go back to the documentation, you can see the, the link there. But um, if you wanted to examine this in a bit more detail, you can see here the um, managed security devices. It shows you how to onboard the uh, FDM managed devices, which is what I'm doing, how to onboard some of the other devices, so pretty comprehensive, and once they're onboarded, how to configure them. Okay, so I'd, I'd strongly recommend that. Okay, now, looks like that is nearly complete, and that's good. I, I can still go back to home, And then security security devices this way. It says it's still onboarding. And if I go back to administration, firewall management center, select the FMC, and now select devices. Okay, it looks like that's you know that's just some some sort of health message. Now it's uh it's onboarded. So now it's onboard onboarded. I can edit the device. Okay, you've actually got here, um, actually that's, that's one I did before. Let me go and add a new interface. I'll call this um, inside. I'll enable it. Call this, uh, you know, this is a demo. And then assign an IP address 192.168.133.0 slash 24. And select, select OK. Um, 254, apologies. And select OK. And then I'm, I'm going to save that. OK, now I could go into configure routing. I've actually already done that previously. Oh, no, I haven't. So let's add a route as well for this outside interface. Any, uh, I have to find an object, select outside router and click on OK, and then save. Now if I, once I've done that, if I go back to, go back to home, and again, the idea here is just to give you a, a feel and then go back to the management center. And now I can see that there are some changes to make. So if I click on this deployment, I'm going to deploy those changes to this device. It shows me what's going to be deployed. I select deploy. So while that's uh, busy deploying, let me just go back and um, let's just check show the IP interface show. Let's check the interfaces. So you can see the outside interfaces, which is already defined. Interface one isn't. That should change soon. While I'm waiting for uh, that to complete, that deployment, it's does again not taking too much longer. Um, if I go back to the analysis, 
we've got this uh, FTD dashboard here. So I've got some analysis here within the, from see the dashboard. But if I also go back to uh, select insight and reports, uh, sorry, go to events and logging here. I've got these various warnings like so. So I can see these events. These are actually ones I did previously, but um, if I expand and you can see uh, various types of events. So if I wanted to focus on something like um, the DMZ ingress interface, I can click on that. You can see that that's done that and search and then narrow it down. And for each of these, I can you know, get quite a lot of information. And I can do this historically or do it live as well. But I've, I've only configured one interface in this demo. So um, again, this is just a short introductory demonstration. If I go back to the interfaces, you can see that that new interface is set up. OK, uh, so that just about, uh, that's just about that. Um, so in conclusion, we've seen how to um, onboard a, firepower, a Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense with the cloud-delivered Firewall Management Center, which is part of the, uh, the security cloud control. And once it is onboarded, then you can manage that device using the cloud-delivered Firewall Management Center. Thank you for your time.